Hey y'all, so this is the People versus OJ Simpson, episode 3. Yeah, I got blue on my lips, so I was eating my birthday cake. <laughs> but anyways, this review is going to be pretty short. Oh yeah, I will put the link on uh, Twitter for y'all. Okay, just so we so that's clear, it'll be on Twitter. Um, it'll probably be the same website that I got the last two from. Um, yeah, it much didn't much happen in this episode. They start off by Robert taking the kids, um, Courtney, Kim, Chloe, and Rob to Chin Chin's for Father's Day. Okay, and. There, you know, he's like, do y'all want to go here? It's very crowded. They uh, go in, and the waitresses are like, oh, my God, are you Richard Richard Cordor? What did they say? Cordorvian? <laughs> and he's like, I'm Robert Kardashian. And she's like, yeah, you can have whatever table you want. And the kids, they're all impressed, and they're like, oh, this is... This is great. Like, I, you know, I want to be famous. And he's like, you know, there's nothing good about being famous. Fame is fleeting, okay? It's having a hollow heart, okay? You know that I'm not about fame. You know, grandparents are not about fame. It's There's no need to be famous. And they're bragging about, you know, how I guess everybody around them is famous, how OJ's famous, how Bruce is famous. He's on the Wheaties box. So, y'all should have really uh, cleaned this stuff off my lips. <laughs> but anyway, so, you know, that was that. I don't understand why. I mean, I guess why. I, I know why they put the, the Kardashians up there, okay? Kardashians bring attention, but it really wasn't relative to the story the only thing that they really talked about was um i guess it was kim saying that oj did it and he was like no she didn't he's like well mom says she did well your mom is just very emotional right now you know he's your he's your godfather he wouldn't do nothing like that then later on robert is coming to pick up the kids and uh chris doesn't really want to talk to him and then she's like well why would you go ahead and defend him he's like well you know that's my friend i just don't turn my back on friends and she's like well you're turning your back on the code no i'm not turning my back on the code he didn't do it and chris is like you don't you don't know that and he was like well can you stop telling the kids that their uncle Kill, um, killed her is a murderer and he was like she was like pretend uncle okay he pretends everything else so that was basically it for the Kardashians in this episode um Marsha went ahead and she made an announcement about how OJ is basically locked up for a uh, murder they asked her if there was anybody else considered for um, the murder. Anybody else charged for the murder. She was like, no, because he's the sole murderer. Well, you don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that. How you just going to make that, that judgment? There could have been somebody else helping him. I mean, I think he did it, but... We don't know if somebody helped him or not. Anyways, so later on, she's in there talking to, uh, is his name Chris Darden? Um, the guy that was, I guess, a protege of Johnny Cochran. And, you know, he's telling her that a lot of black people believe that he didn't do it. She's like, what? Why not? And he's like, because... I mean, they look at him as, you know, a good-looking guy that has been successful. He's came from the streets. He's made it. And now they're trying to tear him down and put him into jail, you know, put him behind bars. And she's like, I mean, what? It doesn't make any difference. 
if he, you know, the evidence is still, he's, you know, he's done this. There's blood in the Bronco. There's blood everywhere. It's his DNA. So, I mean, what? And speaking of the DNA, Robert Shapiro has some people in, some experts coming in, and another lawyer, and they're trying to figure out how can they get around this case? How can they, you know, get him out of it? And so basically they talk about how his DNA is in the Bronco. His DNA is basically from a trail from Nicole's house to OJ's house. And they're like, well, what what can we do? And he's like, well, the expert is saying, you know, the DNA matches. I mean, you can't match that up with anybody else. He was like, well, how can, what can we do? He was like, well, I can prove that, you know, the DNA was, like, placed there. And basically saying that the cops framed OJ. So I see what kind of angle this show is trying to take. I'm not even going to say much on that. <sighs> but I know what's up. Anyways, and that kind of made me not want to review this episode. <laughs> so anyways, they decide that they're going to take a racial approach. And... Because the cop that found the glove happened to be a very racist person. And that's going to be the angle to win. Marsha's on the other end, thinks she's winning. But then there's witness the witness um, that said she saw OJ do it or whatever. She ends up on TV doing a... <laughs> she ends up on TV uh, doing an interview that she got paid $5,000 for. And Marsha's like, well, she's not going to be credible anymore. Um, it was somebody else that w went to the magazine. They're not credible because, I mean, they, it's like it looks like they're doing it all for money. And then, not only that, the whole... Um, I guess the wedding tape when they first got married, um, it was linked that Nicole was calling the cops 911 because OJ was beating her and you can hear OJ beating her on the tape. So Marsha's like, we can't use that now because, I mean, now Robert is basically... He's preparing for all of this. All of our evidence and, and victims, and I mean, not victims, and witnesses that we were going to use, he's preparing for this, and they don't seem credible anymore. So, they basically feel like they screwed. She kept thinking they got it, you know, in the pocket, and she's wrong. So, now they're trying to gear up. And Johnny Cochran, his wife, ends up, talking to him basically she talked him into it and she's like why don't you just join the team and he was like no 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 this is this is a losing case i don't want to be a part of that and she was like okay so how would you feel if somebody else got him off and he's like oh i wouldn't feel good i was like okay so this is all about ego huh well whatever works huh so uh, Johnny ends up getting a call at the office, and his secretary tells him OJ's on the phone. And immediately, I can tell this ain't OJ's voice, right? So he's on the phone like, John, Johnny, I'm so happy. I really need you on the team. You know, uh, you're a great lawyer. He's like, oh, thank you. Thank you, OJ. He's like, you know, because I, I need to get off. I need to get off. He's like, yeah, I, know, I understand. He's like, yeah, because I... I killed her, and then they start laughing, and he gets pissed off, hangs up, um, and then Robert Shapiro and Robert Kardashian go and visit visits um, OJ in prison or jail, I should say, and they're like, you know, OJ, we need to take a different approach with this. We need to take a racial approach because. 
all the, you know, the police that were involved with finding this evidence were very racist. And he was like, what? So they tried to, this, you know, they tried to set me up because I'm black. Wow. And then so they telling him, well, we need to go ahead and get Johnny Cochran on the team. He's like, no, because I don't, I don't want to do this whole black versus white thing. I don't want to do that. And so they end up convincing him. Um, they end up calling Johnny. Johnny gets down. He goes down there. And, you know, he tells Robert, like, if I'm going to talk to him, if I'm going to represent him, I need to look him in his eyes. I need to know that he didn't do it. So he goes in there. And he shakes his hand. And he's like, it's good to see you. And then he looks at him. He's like, I need to know, did you do it? And OJ is like, no, 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 I, 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 I didn't do it. You know, I love Nicole. I love Nicole. I, I, I couldn't have did it. I couldn't have did it. And I'm like, is he trying to convince himself that he didn't? <laughs> I know y'all. I sound horrible, but he, him, him saying I couldn't have did it. I couldn't have did it. Yes or no? Anyway, so that was it for this episode. Wasn't much going on, okay? They just, everybody's puzzled because they're trying to figure out how we're going to win this case. So that was it. Um, remember, the link is on twitter.com backslash jazz seven. And it's it, y'all. Peace.